you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve the problem that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen now what i've done here is that i have reproduced the views you can see on the screen in isometric production in order to what to enhance your understanding the views you see at the right hand side is in first angle projection why because the elevation is at the top and the plan is just beneath the what the front elevation right and the question here says that the front elevation and a plan is as shown that's what you can see on the screen we should draw the section a section a section on plane sx and also a section on plane yy now if you look at the figure let's take a look at the plan this is a plan a plan means you're looking from the top so you're looking at these figures from where from the top right and the question is asking us on a normal day without any stress this is our elevation this is how we draw our orthographic relation let me just redraw this on my drawing sheet to give you an enhanced understanding right so if i do that let's start and reproduce this figure the first thing i'm going to do is to draw my x plane and also to draw my y plane this way hope you can see that now we are meeting at this point so i'll measure 10 millimeter to the left and to the right let me just do that or oh, five five each this is 10 this is another 10 i'll come up also i'll do the same thing i'll measure 10 i'll measure another 10 and i'll draw my line this way i'll draw my line this way and i'll also draw my line this way and also draw my line this way you can see that now let me start with the elevation the entire length of the elevation is given to be 80 as you can see from the plan here so i'm going to measure my 80 from 0 to 8 here is 80 can you see that and the entire height is given to what 55 you get that from the elevation so from here i measure 55 from 0 to 55 And I'll close them up this way. Then we have uh, 15 from here, and it's from here to here, even to be 15. 0 to 5 to 0.5 here is 15. And I'll just close it up this way. All right. And from here to here is giving us uh, 40. I get that from the plan. So I'm going to measure 40 from 0 to 4 is 40. Right? And the other one here from here to here is giving to be. We have that. That again. So I'm not going to measure 15 from here to here. It is from here to here. Right? To measure 15 from 0. To 15 from here 0 to 15 so in doing that I will just take it up from here it's still down there and I'll take it from up still down here and I'll measure 16 downward here so if I do that this is what I will be having this is what I'll be having. I'm just sitting down here from 0 to 15, 16. Right? So I can easily just take it to that point. Right? 
and I'll delete this point. Right? And I'll also take this to this point also. This is my faint line here. Then we're not giving any fillets here. Or this is any fillet of my choice. That means yes, there's a fillet here, right? So any of your choice, maybe use five millimeter, whatever you feel like using. Just place it here. And you mark here. You mark here. You come here. You strike an arc. And you come here also, strike another arc. All together. So where they meet, then you have this. You can see that. So I can actually just take that up this way. And also take this this way. Also take this this way. Also, I'll just draw a line from here, as you can see, from here to here, which is from here to here. I'll draw a line this way. Close it up. Close it up. Also, close it up. Are you sure that? So, what else do we have there? Now there's um, a counter ball over here that is a drill and so on. So what I'll just do here is, if from here to here is given to be, let's say the, you can just measure from here to this point. Just draw a diagonal. Just one diagonal, taking from here to here. Then the other one again, you can just take another diagonal. Let me complete this here. Just take another diagonal from here to here. This is where they meet, right? So since they are meeting here, that should be where your center line will be located, like this. Long, short, long, short, long, right? So from here now, from here to here is given to be twenty-six diameter. So I'll measure thirteen each. That means the diameter of this is twenty-six. So I'll measure thirteen in both sides. So from zero, I'll measure this is thirteen here. This is another zero. This is thirteen here. I'll take it down a little bit this way. Faint line. Faint line. Can you see that? And I'll measure six five. You see the depth six first of all. So let's measure six downward first of all. From zero to six. Meaning that from this point to this point is six, right? So if I've done that, I'll be using my hidden line because you cannot see it through when you're looking from this side. So with my hidden line, no, just short dashes. Just short dashes because you cannot see it from the inside. You cannot see it looking from here because this is the elevation looking from this side, so you cannot see this line. So we have another one again going in by 10 10 in two places as 20 minute diameter, the inner one. So we have from zero, so we have this is 10, and this is another 10. Now let's take it down like this. You now measure five millimeter down. From zero to five. From zero, this is five, right? So I'll draw my line, hidden line. So we also hope you can see that. So this is what we have. We've drawn out the elevation you can see from the on the screen here looking from this side this is just what you do first of all i will tell you what we're about to do 
Now the next one is the plan. So if I am to draw the plan, I will just put it. I'll first of all project this downward this way. And the height of the plan, which is the width, is 35. So I am going to measure 35 from here. From 0 to 35. Right, which I am going to what? Ticking this way. And also ticking here too, this way. And also ticking here too, this way. And also ticking here too, this way. Just like you can see on the screen. Alright, then I can just bring um, this down. You will see in this side already. So I can just bring it down. Then we have. Can you see that? Then I cannot see here. So I'm using more like a center line. Even though you need it in the main diagram, but there ought to be a center line, I mean, a hidden line here. Then aside that, the next thing is the circle. Just join the diagonals here. The diagonal, one long one here. Then another diagonal. The diagonal helps you to get the center of that figure. Taking reference from here to here. So this is where they are meeting. So at that point, that is where I'll start drawing my circle. So if I should take from here to this point, I'll place it here. And I'll draw a circle. Can you see that? I'll come again from here to the center again to here. I'll place it here. I'll draw this too. Can you see that? Now the next thing is. This is the center line here we have, the center line at this point. We just draw this long shot. So at this point here, we know the thickness from here to here, which you can see from here to here is 5. So I'm going to measure 2.5 to the left and 2.5 to the right, which I am going to now move from here, straight down, then I'll move from here to straight down can you see that so this is what we have here I can just draw my center line here long short long short long short long can you see that so we've drawn this is what we are seeing on the screen but let me just go further a little bit oh i don't really have to is that taking now so this is what we are working with the interlock to draw the end elevation so only working on these two. So without sectioning, this is what we have. But from the diagram, as you can see on the screen, we are told that this is cut. As in, looking from this side now, let's take from the elevation. Now you cut the elevation, the, the plan into two. So your cutting plane, your knife, is at this center line here. And it cut it down looking at this direction if you look at the arrow facing here so that means when i plate my cutting plane from the plan i'll cut it down i'm looking at the direction so when you do that this is what you are going to be having watch and see so this is what we have when you slice it into two right and if you're looking at it from this direction this is looking at it from here so what do you notice now we've cut this figure into two right so the hidden features there was telling you that looking at this direction you see this here will not become uh, a thick line so it will not be very obvious cause nothing to hide again right there's nothing to what to hide again so how the hidden line will become thick line how the hidden line will become thick line. Right? 
this line you see here will be this line. We've seen this curve here as a straight line, or this curve and you've seen what as a straight line. This and this will be on the same level, right? Now that is not the whole, that is not all. You can't one thing you cannot section here is the web. This you cannot section it, but any other thing there, you're going to section it using your 45 degrees S square. So placing it this way, you use a 45 degree and you just make the heavy volume space section here. This is what I'm not making understand. So all this part here, we section them here. Just do this this way. All this part will do what? Can you see that? This is what it means. So this is what you are drawing, you are not drawing, this is just enhanced understanding. That's what it means, that cutting plane, showing it up on the screen, you cut it from the plan, right? And you're looking at the direction, so you're looking at the elevation. Now the next one is, so this is what they're expecting you to draw, right? So the next one is the, uh, the elevation. They're not called the elevation from this side. You can see the diagram. They're not cut the elevation. That means they are cutting the top off. If it was a human, I would see they are removing the top of the body away. So it's remaining the bottom. So remove the top and look down. And when you remove the top, this is what you are going to see, right? Let me show you what you will be seeing if you remove the top, just like it is suggested in the video here. So when you cut it, this is what you have here. You've cut the top away, right? So this is what you will be seeing. This A here, right, and part of B. So if I'm doing that, is that I'm going to now tick in this point. You see here that is hidden that I draw here. I will now tick in it because that is already cut off. Is that again? So it will now be more visible, and the rest will be removed. You will not see any of the head because you removed the head already. So you won't see any of this part again, which is what I've just done here, right? So I'm going to focus on this not on this so i'm going to do this this is what we have so that what you have if that hidden line will become visible and the rest part will be cut off it will be seen from here to here which is here to here right and aside from that the you say you measure from where you cut it off from here measure 30. I measure 30 upward this way from here from zero to three is 30 here so you can now move it. This is where they start cutting it from to this point here. So this is where I'm going to draw from this point. So I'll close it up by drawing my line here this way. Can you see that? Which is this point here, this line you see. So I'm not section the rest part. So my cutting plane is not touching any of this part here. My cutting plane is only touching this point here. This is when I cut and place it touching. Can you see that? That's only when I cut and place it touching. So that's why I'm going to section only this part here. You're not told to draw this. This is just an explanation. This is what you're told to do. I'm trying to show you how I got this. So I'll section here. Can you see that? So this is the section y y and this is what the section x x so this is what we call i'll use how you use your sectional plane your section plane in dissecting figures so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also don't forget to share the video thanks for watching